Sashimi, Japanese, Sishen pronounced sai, mi, is a Japanese delicacy consisting of very fresh raw meat or fish sliced into thin pieces and often eaten with soy sauce. <inaudible> Origin The word sashimi means, "...pierced body", i.e. Sishen. Topic: Sashimi. Where sashi? Sashi, pierced, stuck, and shen. Topic: Mi, body, meat. This word dates from the Muromachi period and was possibly coined when the word chiru, kiru, cut the culinary step, was considered too inauspicious to be used by anyone other than samurai. This word may derive from the culinary practice of sticking the fish's tail and fin to the slices for the purpose of identifying the fish being eaten. Another possibility for the name could come from the traditional method of harvesting sashimi grade. Fish is caught by individual handline. As soon as the fish is landed, its brain is pierced with a sharp spike, and it is placed in slurried ice. This spiking is called the akejime process, and the instantaneous death means that the fish's flesh contains a minimal amount of lactic acid. This means that the fish will keep fresh on ice for about 10 days, without turning white or otherwise degrading. Many non Japanese use the terms sashimi and sushi interchangeably, but the two dishes are distinct and separate. Sushi refers to any dish made with vinegared rice. While raw fish is one traditional sushi ingredient, many sushi dishes contain seafood that has been cooked, and others have no seafood at all. <inaudible> Serving Sashimi is often the first course in a formal Japanese meal, but it can also be the main course, presented with rice and miso soup in separate bowls. Japanese chefs consider sashimi the finest dish in Japanese formal dining and recommend that it be eaten before other strong flavors affect the palate. The sliced seafood that composes the main ingredient is typically draped over a garnish. The typical garnish is Asian white radish, daikon, shredded into long thin strands, or single leaves of the shiso herb. Sashimi is popularly served with a dipping sauce, soy sauce and condiments such as wasabi paste, grated fresh ginger, grated fresh garlic, or ponzu for meat sashimi, and such garnishes as shiso and shredded daikon radish. Wasabi paste is sometimes mixed directly into soy sauce as a dipping sauce, which is generally not done when eating sushi. Another way to flavor soy sauce with wasabi is to place the wasabi mound into the soy sauce dish and then pour it in. This allows the wasabi to infuse the soy sauce more subtly. A reputed motivation for serving wasabi with sashimi and also gari, pickled ginger, besides its flavor, is killing harmful bacteria and parasites that could be present in raw seafood. Other garnishes, more common in Japan than overseas, include red water pepper sprouts beni taid hong liao and a small chrysanthemum kogiku. Shoud, the chrysanthemum, unlike other garnishes, is not intended to be eaten, and in cheap service such as at supermarkets may be substituted with a plastic flower. <inaudible> Preparation To highlight the fish's appearance, the chef cuts it into different thicknesses. The hirazukuri cut, which translates into, "...rectangular slice." is the standard cut for most sashimi. Typically this style of cut is the size of a domino and 10 mm in thick. Tuna, salmon, and kingfish are most commonly cut in this style. The U.S. Yuzukuri cut, which translates to, "...thin slice", is an extremely thin, diagonally cut slice that is mostly used to cut firm fish, such as bream, whiting, and flounder. The dimensions of this fish is usually 50 mm long and 2 mm in wide. The kakuzukuri cut, which translates to square slice, is the style in which sashimi is cut into small, thick cubes that are 20 mm in on each side. The idozukuri cut, which translates into thread slice, is the style in which the fish is cut into thin sheets, less than 2 mm in thick. The fish typically cut with the idozukuri style include garfish and squid. Varieties 
The most popular main ingredients for sashimi includes salmon, gui sake, squid, ika ika, shrimp, ebi ebi, tuna, maguro maguro, mackerel, saba saba, horse mackerel, aji aji, octopus, taiko taiko, fatty tuna, utoro otoro, yellowtail, hamachi hamachi, scallop, hotate bay hotate gai. Sea urchin, uni uni. Some sashimi ingredients, such as octopus, are sometimes served cooked given its chewy nature. Most seafood, such as tuna, salmon, and squid, are served raw. Tataki, tataki or koki, pounded, is a type of sashimi. It is quickly and lightly seared on the outside, leaving it raw inside. Less common, but not unusual, sashimi ingredients are vegetarian items, such as yuba bean curd skin, and raw red meats, such as beef known as or horse known as basashi. Chicken sashimi", known as torawasa, is considered by some to be a delicacy. The Nagoya kachin, French poulet de bresse and its American derivative, the blue foot chicken, are favored by many for this purpose, as, besides their taste, they are certified to be free of salmonella. Chicken sashimi is sometimes slightly braised on the outside. Topic: <inaudible> Safety. As a raw food, consuming sashimi can result in foodborne illness when bacteria or parasites are present. For example, anisakiasis is a disease caused by the accidental ingestion of larval nematodes in the family Anisocidae, primarily Anisakis simplex but also Pseudoteranova discipiens. In addition, incorrectly prepared fugu fish may contain tetradoxin, a potent neurotoxin. Another type of foodborne illness that could occur after consuming tainted sashimi is diphylobothriasis. This disease is an infection within the intestines that occurs when the tapeworm Diphylobothrium latum is consumed. Common fish such as trout, salmon, pike, and sea bass harbor this parasitic larva in their muscles. Due to the new innovation of the chilled transport system paired with the salmon and trout consumption, an increasing number of cases have been recorded annually in northern Japan due to the spread of this disease. Traditionally, fish that spend at least part of their lives in brackish or fresh water were considered unsuitable for sashimi because of the possibility of parasites. For example, salmon, an anadromous fish, is not traditionally eaten straight out of the river. A study in Seattle, Washington, showed that all wild salmon had roundworm larvae capable of infecting people, while farm-raised salmon did not have any roundworm larvae. However a study commissioned by the Pew Foundation found that total organic contaminants were consistently and significantly more concentrated in the farmed salmon as a group than in wild salmon. Freezing is often used to kill parasites. According to European Union regulations, freezing fish at minus 20 degrees Celsius minus 4 degrees Fahrenheit for 24 hours kills parasites. The U.S. Food and Drug Administration (FDA) recommends freezing at minus 35 degrees Celsius minus 31 degrees Fahrenheit for 15 hours, or at minus 20 degrees Celsius minus 4 degrees Fahrenheit for seven days. While Canada does not federally regulate freezing fish, British Columbia and Alberta voluntarily adhere to guidelines similar to the FDA's. Ontario attempted to legislate freezing as part of raw food handling requirements, though this was soon withdrawn due to protests by the industry that the subtle flavors and texture of raw fish would be destroyed by freezing. Instead, Ontario has decided to consider regulations on how raw fish must be handled prior to serving. Some fish for sashimi are treated with carbon monoxide to keep the flesh red for a longer time in storage. This practice can make spoiled fish appear fresh. Environmental concerns The increased popularity of bluefin tuna for sashimi is reported to have brought this popular species to the verge of extinction. The popularity has grown so much that the biomass of bluefin tuna has dropped from 600 metric tons to 200 metric tons from 1955 to 2000. This has resulted in a long period of depressed abundance of bluefin tuna, which has led to a failure of bluefins being able to reproduce a large amount of offspring. With the constant amount of fishing, bluefin tuna population rates have been steadily declining. 
A proposed solution has been farming bluefin tuna in fisheries, but this poses a problem in that the captive fish are not raised from spawn, but rather from small wild fish that are netted and transported to the farms, mostly in the Mediterranean. However, Japanese scientists have found a way to successfully breed and raise the fish entirely in captivity. Despite this technical accomplishment, this may not lead to a viable solution to maintain a sustainable bluefin population, because chefs and consumers see wild bluefin to be more appetizing, and look down upon farmed bluefin. See also <laughs> <laughs>